dozens more injured. The government blaming pro-Russian. They call them terrorists. ABC's Martha Raddatz is in Washington with the latest. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, George. This is one of the deadliest attacks in weeks, and it happened at a checkpoint manned by Ukrainian forces in that volatile eastern part of the country. Journalists saw bodies of the dead and about 30 wounded scattered across fields near the checkpoint. The witnesses said the troops were attacked by pro-Russian insurgents. Ukrainian armored vehicles were set on fire. A military helicopter had to swoop in to try to rescue some of the wounded who are in very great condition and meanwhile rebel commanders are showing off weapons they seized like trophies there is also sporadic fighting elsewhere in the east George meanwhile this attack Martha comes in the context of Russian troops actually pulling back from the border correct well, well, U.S. officials say they see no mass withdrawal of Russian troops from the border, but the NATO Secretary General says there has been some activity which may suggest they are preparing to withdraw. And, of course, we have the upcoming elections this weekend, and more violence is expected. Okay, Martha Rattis, thanks very much. All right there, George. Now to President